Hello, the purpose of today's video tutorial is to show you how to take any video footage taken with a uh, wide angle point of view camera such as the GoPro Hero range and correct for the very wide distortion of fisheye which you can very clearly see in this shot here. If I show you uh, the actual shot playing you'll see just how actually uh, distorted this this clip is taken of me uh, jumping into the ocean uh, just off the island of Reunion in the Indian Ocean last year and uh, was taken with a GoPro Hero 2. You can see how uh, distorted that image is. So how do we go about actually compensating for that? Especially in a program such as Photoshop which initially you might think well why can I do video? Well, since the introduction of CS5, Photoshop have enabled video to be edited in it, and that's opened up a whole range of filters to be used for video. Most importantly, the first thing to do when you have imported your video clip and trimmed it to the size that you want to, which I'm not going to go into in this tutorial, uh, very obvious how to do it and if you need a tutorial done I can do at some stage but the most important thing to do right now is convert this video footage to a smart object so how do we do that we go over to the layers panel where we see layer one copy here right click it and you get convert to smart object click that this is now a smart object which you can see by the little lower icon there in the right hand corner of the icon once you've converted it to a smart object, any filters that you apply will now go for the whole video footage and not just one single frame. So, let's get on with this and see how to take this awful uh, bulge out. Go up to your filters uh, icon at the top and drop down to adaptive wide angle and click on that and up will come this new uh, window. Now obviously there's a big curve there so what we need to do is to take our mouse and go up to here the constraint tool. Add or edit a constraint by clicking on the image. So we click on that and then we put the cursor over the very beginning here. On the right hand side you'll see another window which is a larger magnification of that particular area and take your left mouse button click it and hold it and as you drag it over to the right you'll see that the actual blue line conforms to the curve of the item that you're trying to straighten. Once you're happy with where you've positioned it let go of the mouse and you can see it's automatically straightened that. If you're not happy for any reason if for example it doesn't straighten that what you can do is then go over the particular sections here with the mouse and you can click it and, and then curve it and correct for the actual point where you want it to be straight. You can also add other points in if you find there's a curvature elsewhere by holding the shift button before you click on the left mouse and then you can see the curvature of the actual water there I've added that correction to there so that is now straight and you can keep going until you're happy that you've got all these angles straight and if that one doesn't quite go to the end again position your mouse over it click left and then drag it to the very end and that'll just straighten that a little bit more if you just want to check for that you see slightly out there put your mouse over it click it and drag it back into where you want it that then corrects it obviously because you're correcting you're going to have to scale the image up because you've got an awful big area here where there is nothing so we go to scale and drag it and drag it and drag it and then what you can also do is move the whole canvas by going over to the move tool over on the left and then dragging the item around in the window and again adjusting scale until you're happy that there is no more uh, areas that aren't uh, shown as video footage and I'm going to hold it there click OK and that has now albeit with some cropping straightened all those lines out this won't play in full uh, full frame uh, speed as it's had to uh, 
now apply these filters but you can see that there is a huge improvement in quality so what I do now is I will render that video out by going to file export render video and then it'll give me a uh, new dialog box with the various encoder settings which I want to use and also the file name I'm going to go GoPro correction mp4 save it in a hard drive uh, location of my choice I'm going to use H.264 compression you have got QuickTime as well or DPX this was filmed in 1080p so I'm going to stay with that at 25 frames a second and then I'll hit the render button here which will render it out to the drive once it's rendered out I'll come back and show you the result and the before and after comparison as well so just to render the video out and that will be it as you can see it's thinking and now it's starting to export the video as I say we'll be back as soon as this is done so now you can see the before and afters on the top left is obviously the before and the bottom right is the after which has been corrected using the filter in Photoshop I think you'll agree there's quite a, a good improvement there without too much cropping so I hope you found this uh, video useful I'm going to show you again full size now the before and afters so that you can actually see in greater detail what they look like I hope you found the, the uh, tutorial useful and you'll comment rate and subscribe to us but for now thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video